Hey there, let's talk about batteries. The LED 60s cells, these are lithium iron phosphate, the 74 amp hour, and they can do 200 uh, amps continuous, and they can do 600 amps bursts of 10 seconds, right? So these are really good for all kinds of things. These are super long lasting lithium iron phosphate. They're very, very high power version of this battery. So they're not the most energy dense. That, that means they're not super compact, but what they lack in energy density, they make up for power output, right? Definitely 600 amps for 10 seconds. And you know, these are only rated at 200 amps uh, continuous, but you know, I was able to actually discharge this at 400 amps and it got warm. It got probably close to hot, uh, but they were able to do it, you know, basically fully charged to fully discharge. And you know, you probably suffer some degradation there when you do that, but you can totally do it. That's the cool thing about these cells. So because they are uh, such good cells and we have a lot of these coming to us. I mean, truckloads and truckloads, right? So we're making all kinds of things for them. I, I will uh, later do a thing where I showed you how to do, a, you know, storage and stuff like that. But for right now, these are well suited for the audio world, right? Audio, the automotive audio world needs a lot of amps uh around 12 above 12 volts right and so this is the pack that we're selling a lot right now it's just four in series right so this is a regular 12 volt this is this these cells were designed and sold to bmw to be used like this and in a 4s 12 volt configuration and they use that to start their their cars and to do all this other stuff right uh but these ones, for some reason, they uh, they changed the design or something. So now they're left without uh, that design. So now they're kind of obsolete for that application. So that's why we got them. But this is what we're selling here. And there's different versions of this. We have the basic one that doesn't have. It's just the little bus bars. Then there's another one that has compression plates right here. The specs doesn't specify compression, but... You know, we made some just in case because it's also very useful when you put the compression plates here. When you use them here, then you have these extra holes here. It's a flange. You have this flange and then these holes right here. And it serves as a way to mount this wherever you are going to use it, right? Now, because these are going to be mostly mounted on the, inside of a, a cars, right uh, then i also want to make a box for this so that it doesn't uh, all this stuff is not exposed because right now this is all exposed and if you you know if something landed on top of there then that's gonna be a big dead short right so we're gonna do that but this battery right here it's, it's very very popular and this is what it looks like this is the pro right uh where it has like big chunky terminals in here so they could put one odd or two uh two two yeah two odd cables up to two odd and a, and a bunch of other smaller ones over here but what people have been asking is a high voltage version of that so what the audio world is doing is they're running their 12 volt systems higher you know up to like 16 volts and for that they're using uh other cells that will they, they put out higher voltage right so in this case what we've done here is just add an extra cell to this lithium iron phosphate battery. And so basically what this is, the safety of headways, but the power of C-Max batteries, right? C-Max were a cell that people were using because it was, it could put out quite a bit of power and small, powerful. But the thing is that, well, if you overcharge it, over discharge it a bit too much, then it would tend to swell up. And let's just say it's not as stable as lithium iron phosphate, right? So this is by far safer than the, than the NMC lithium cobalt oxide versions of that. So this battery here will go all the way to 16 volts. And this is the high voltage version that we are going to offer for the automotive audio uh, market, right? So this one is gonna be uh, jack35.com. It basically has the same specs as this, except that it has, you know, three volts more. 200 amp continuous, but 600 amps bursts of 10 seconds, but 600 amps at 16 volts. Well, that's 9,600 watts, right? And by the way, it can do that 
for 10 seconds while remaining above 15 volts. If, it, if you don't mind going below like something like four or 14, 14 and a half volts or something, this could do maybe more, even 800 amps, a thousand amps. And so this is a very, very powerful high voltage battery that will sag about 14 and a half, 14 volts or something like that. But when you're loading it with above 10,000 watts, this thing is pretty, pretty crazy. So that's why this is a high power, high voltage battery. And we're gonna offer this at jack35.com. If you're interested in this, just go check out our website. All right, this is a short video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.